Hi guys, this is Tucker Jobs Gaming and welcome to another episode of Tactic Reviews. Now, a guy called Stan, a man called Stan, Stan the Man, commented on a uh, on one of our previous videos uh, asking us to try out the Annihilator uh, version 1 by TFF Tactic. And uh, well, this is that video. I'm uh, going to Germany and I'm going to try this tactic out with Borussia Dortmund, see how it goes. Sim to Christmas, have a look at the stats, sim to the end of the season, and hopefully it goes all right. At the end of the season, then I'll give you a quick glimpse of how the tactic also does in France uh, with uh, AS Monaco, and hopefully they might be able to uh, take the title off PSG. Fingers crossed. All right, let's get to it. They took our jobs! What's up guys, this is Tucker Jobs Gaming and welcome to an episode of Tactic Reviews. Now, we are in the Bundesliga, we are currently at Borussia Dortmund and the tactic I am picking is the Annihilator version 1 by TFF. Um, I've seen this tactic before, I haven't used it myself, uh, a personal friend of mine, uh, he uses this and has been very successful with it. Um, he's never actually came to me and said, why don't you put this on your video? But uh, a guy called Stan did. He put a comment in. He said, try out this tactic, put a video on it, and uh, that's what I'm doing. Now, as you can see from the tactic, positive mentality. Pretty strange. I uh, Most of the tactics I bring on, is uh, most of them are always attacking. Obviously, everyone likes the attacking kind of football. So, uh, yeah, it's nice to see a positive there. Um, as you can see, you have a advanced forward, two attacking midfielders in the attack position, two wingers in the attack position, two wing backs in support, a deep line playmaker in support, two and two ball playing defenders in the defend, and also a sweeper keeper in the attack. Obviously, that sweeper keeper is going to be like Manuel Neuer and getting the uh, getting the forward plays started. Um, for those of you on mobiles, uh, Twitch, lap not laptops. Yeah, obviously, if you're on laptops, you can download the tactic. Um, uh, tablets wrote like that. I'm going to quickly go over these players so you can see the individual instructions. So the advanced forward, attacking midfielder left, attacking midfielder right, they are the same. Winger left, winger right, they are also the same. Wing back left. Wing back right, they are the same as well. Deep line playmaker support. Ball plane defender left. And ball plane defender right. As well as the sweeper keeper. Now, as you can see from this squad, this is the selection advice from my assistant. Um, that's most likely going to be changing throughout the season. A few positions that probably won't change for me. Haaland. Haaland is an amazing player. Uh, he's doing it mint in real life. Um, shame, obviously, football stopped at the minute, but he would have clearly gone on to uh, score many goals for uh, Borussia Dortmund. Um, and Sancho. Sancho's an amazing left winger. Um, it's a shame this tactic doesn't incorporate the more attacking wingers or the inside forwards, because I'm sure he will uh, be very good in those positions. But I'm confident that he'll do well in the... Uh, sitting a little bit more back um obviously hazard it's not the hazard it's thorgan hazard is not not too bad nothing like his brother but yeah he might you might you might be able to do a bit all right so this tactic it is a attack and width fairly wide so you're going to play a lot on the wings and that probably explains why you've got two wing backs and a winger um approaching play it's just play at defense all the rest of them are left blank more direct and higher tempo so yeah you're pretty much going to try and get that ball to Haaland as quick and as fast as you can um, as mo as direct as you can no fancy play get it to him and he's going to bang him in uh, work ball into box pretty standard a lot of tactics are doing that uh, and as for that there's no discipline there's no run at defence nothing like that mixed crosses um, in transition counter press slow down pace so they want you to get the ball and counter but slow slow it down slow it down when the goalkeeper's in possession so you know what i mean don't don't go running around everyone get back in position and uh, everything should go all right and obviously your goalkeeper has been tasked to just roll it out to your center backs when you're out of position 
standard defensive line. Um, weird, I uh, normally see that pushed high up in most uh, attacking tactics. Uh, but this isn't an attacking tactic, it's actually a positive mentality tactic. And a standard width for defence and a much higher line of engagement. So even though you are sitting back in defence, your attacking players are higher up the pitch just in case you do get that sneaky little counter going. Um, you're not even using tight marking. The get stuck in uh, isn't isn't on, and that's normally always on on uh, most tactics now. And uh, prevent short goalkeeper distribution and extremely urgent pressing intensity. So you are you're trying to get the ball as fast as you can, get it forward, get it done, win the game. So like I said, we're going to uh, go to Christmas or January, uh, see how we are, look at the stats, and then go to the end of the season. Hopefully with uh, toppled Bayern Munich and uh, won the Bundesliga. And uh, yeah, have a look at the stats of the players and uh, the analysis of the types of goals or assists or around the area of the pitch. So uh, yeah, I'll see you then. Hi guys, hope you've been enjoying the video so far. And uh, if you want to see more content, hopefully you subscribe and like the videos. Yeah, because we're telling the girlfriends that are actually sitting in the garage playing football manager to the world and saying that you guys are watching. So if they ever check on YouTube and realise we've only got like 10 subscribers, we're in trouble. So please subscribe. Uh, yeah, so back to the video. Right, we are now in January the 1st, 2020, and we are currently sitting second. Borussia Dortmund sitting sec second in the Bundesliga. 12 wins, 4 draws, 1 loss, 40 points on a goal difference of 34. So with the... Uh, we're scoring the most goals in the league. We've just not quite got first place. And weirdly, Frankfurt. Frankfurt first. I thought, thought it would have been Bayern, but uh, it's not. Luckily, goals. Erling Haaland, definitely going to be up there. And he is. 17 goals in just the Bundesliga itself. Uh, average rating. You've got Marco Rios and Sancho's there in second and third. Uh, Guerrero and the assists. Haaland on player of the matches. And the Kanji on yellow cards sitting there. Top, top, top of the pile. The, uh, the leg-breaking player there. And, uh, yeah, everything's going pretty good. Uh, you look at the squad, and let's have a look at the stats of the squad of overall in the competitions. Uh, this is including friendlies. So, at the minute, Marco Reyes is playing the best. 24 apps, 13 goals and 7 assists. He's having a pretty good all-rounder. Uh, he's playing 7.78. Um, Axel Witzel, 2-5, playing 7.63. Uh, Jaden Sancho, 9 and 7, playing 7.57. 7. So everyone's playing pretty good. The most dominant players who are playing in the first team at the minute seem to all be on greens. Uh, apart from Thorgan Hazard, he's played 12 and he's just dropped 6.96. Now, goals in all competitions, Erling Haaland, 23. What a lad. He's scoring them, screaming them in in real life. And yeah, he's doing brilliant, isn't he? Uh, Marco Reyes on 13, Sancho 9, and Brandt on 8. Assists, so the main creator of your team is Guerrero, sitting there on 10 assists. Now, obviously, Guerrero is going to be playing in that left wing back position. And, uh, yeah, proper, nice stats. Nice stats for a left, uh, for a left back, that is. Um, after him, you are looking at Marco Reyes and Jaden Sancho. Now, Marco Rios is, I'm guessing he won't be playing on that left-hand side because that'll be Sancho's position. So let's have a quick look where he is actually playing. And yeah, attacking midfielder centre. So he is mostly playing on the attacking midfielder centre position and Jaden Sancho will definitely be on that left-hand side. And, well, yeah, no. Jaden Sancho is actually playing the midfielder right wing position. He's had only, only had four games on the left, so uh, he's switching it up. You can play him left and right, obviously. And uh, it's showing that he's doing pretty well. Um, play him on the left, he might cut in, score some goals. Play him, play him on the right, he'll obviously cross it in and uh, manage probably get some more assists. And yeah, everyone is playing pretty well. Uh, green's all around, look. Green is all around. Uh, lost in the group G against Galatasaray. But we won, won, won. So it looks like we're getting through in the uh, group stage of the Champions League. First game that we lost was Hoffenheim. 3-0. 5-0 against Mainz. 5-0 against Berlin. Drew 3 all against Bayern. Yeah, so I've been having some pretty good results. And uh, yeah, so that's a little taster mid-season. 
everything's going all right, could go better. The only thing that could go better is we could be first, but we're not. We've got another half season to go yet. End of the season now, and look at that. Borussia Dortmund absolutely smashed at the Bundesliga in the end. We were a bit worried at Christmas. We thought we might not be getting first place, but no. We didn't even lose a game since then. We only lost one game all season, six draws, 27 wins, and we won the league on 87 points. Bayern was second on 75. The goal difference, though, 77. And why is that? Because of this lad here, Erling Haaland. 36 Bundesliga goals and overall 47 47 goals in all competitions for this young striker right there average ratings first second and third Sancho Haaland and Rios absolutely amazing Sancho's playing a 7.98 assists Guerrero 17 Sancho 14 Rios 13 player of the matches joint first Erling Haaland we are everywhere on these stats. Unfortunately, we didn't get first, second or third on clean sheets, but it doesn't matter. Obviously, we scored a lot more goals than they did. Um, yeah, champions. Well, happy at that. Tactic, bar one. Thanks, Stan, for recommending this in the comments. Um, just, a, just a little heads up to anyone else that wants to recommend tactics and uh, we'll have a look at them and hopefully we'll do a video on them. Yeah, this we're always hoping to grow the channel with everyone else involved. So uh, it'll be nice if uh, you could leave a comment and, and all that and we'll, we'll have a look together. Uh, yeah, so let's have a look at the players at the minute. So obviously in all competitions, not just the Bundesliga, uh, Jaden Sancho played 7.88, 19 goals, 16 assists. And his most dominant position in this tactic is the right winger so if the people that want to use this tactic are going to be Dortmund and don't know where to play Sancho play him on the right he's playing the seven even though he's played four five games on the left at 8.1 uh, 8 yeah that's pretty good but over 31 games he's played 7.84 on that right hand side and after that you've got Erling Haaland proper baller big lad 7.75 47 goals I don't even need to show you where he's playing. It is very obvious. He is the striker. He is perhaps one of the best strikers in the world. Look at him. And he's only 19. 16 strength. 18 pace. 18 finishing. Off the ball. Penalty taking. 6 foot 4. He is just a brute. And, well, that's his middle name, isn't it? Erling brought Haaland. And, yeah. After that, Marco Rios, 20 goals and 16 assists. I'm guessing he is pretty much be play, most predominantly playing in that attacking centre. Uh, yep, 41 games in the attacking centre and has played once on that left. Another standout performer is Guerrero, wing back left. We already established that. Uh, Sancho Hakimi, 13. He is, will be playing on that right hand side, the right wing back. Uh, Julian Brand, he will, I'm guessing he's going to be playing on the another attacking centre. Uh, no, midfielder left. Um, yeah, 41 games in that midfielder left position. Awesome. Four games in the attacking centre and one game on the right. Um, anyone else who's been playing absolutely amazing? Julian Brand, we've already established him. Uh, Gotts, he's, yeah, he's an attacking centre into he'll definitely be playing in that position. Oh, he's played one game as a striker. And he played an 8.2, so he most likely scored in that game. Uh, but no, attacking centre 47. Uh, that's where he's been playing. So yeah, everyone has been playing absolutely amazingly. The schedule, all greens, yeah, with 3 0 against Offenheim. Uh, lost him, we've already seen that. So January, February. Fortunately, Salzburg, we lost 1 0 in the first leg and drew in the second leg. So we. Lost that, to, lost that to the Champions League, but it doesn't matter. It, it do, that doesn't tell me that this tactic doesn't work because at the end of the day, we've just dominated the Bundesliga and toppled Bayern Munich. That's that was always the plan. Uh, went out obviously in that cup game, uh, five four in extra time against Chalke, but no four nil against Offenheim, three two two nil. Didn't topple Bayern at all though. Obviously, we drew both games that we had against them. 6-0 against Berlin. 6-1 Frankfurt. 6-1 Freiburg. Well, yeah, been scoring a lot of goals there. This is a very, very good tactic for those people that want to be banging in those goals. And definitely um, recommend it if, obviously, 
some tactics you have then where you're inside forwards or you're attacking centres or shadow strikers are the ones that are scoring most goals. But nowadays, people want the striker. People want your striker to be the top scorer. Not a winger. Not a shadow striker. Your striker. Right? Advance forward or you're pressing forward or whatever. This is a good tactic for it. Obviously, Erling Haaland, the striker, 47 goals in all competitions. Been playing absolutely amazing. Now, having a look at the analysis. Goal locations, there's been three wonder goals. Uh, seven, five, obviously outside the area, most likely long range or free kicks. Uh, one on this right hand side, which is uh, you don't normally see them, so that was probably a fluky little wind ball flipping in and went it went in. And uh, 77 in the box, obviously 45 close range. Uh, yeah, total scored 154 total goals in all competitions and only conceded 51. We only conceded a third of what we scored. That was absolutely amazing. Looking at the assist chart, 29 on that right-hand side. That's pretty dominant. Now, that tells me, obviously, Sancho. Definitely Sancho's having an amazing time on that right-hand side. Uh, 46 inside the box, so we've got work in the box, haven't we? So they're all working around, finding that clear-cut chance for, obviously, Erling Haaland to score. He's uh, been doing pretty well. 25 assists outside the area, 14 on the left, and 10 within the centre or your own half. So, yeah, ball playing defenders, deep line playmaker. Obviously, they're sitting back, pinging the balls over, and uh, you're getting your goals that way. So, yeah, everything is absolutely amazing, guys. Use the tactic. Looks great. Um, Erling Haaland, 36 goals. Can't That's, that's awesome. Awesome. Um, have a quick look at the team itself. So, just for those who want to know who played the most... Obviously, I've gone from apps downwards, so you can see right there. I would say from oh, Thorgan Hazard or just below. That's pretty much you can see there the predominant team that played um, throughout most of the matches. But yeah, amazing. Everyone played absolutely mintio. Um, so let's uh, see how this tactic then does in France with AS Monaco. Now, we're in France. I'm not going to bore you with the start, the mid, and the end. I've gone straight to the end with AS Monaco. One save, one quick, blast through, simmed it, the whole lot, tactic in, and champions. Awesome. All right? I never, ever, ever see teams manage to beat PSG in the first season. Yeah, a little bit of luck has gone our way. They managed to lose six games on their own. Um, I've played games in France before where they've gone a whole season unbeaten. They are absolutely amazing. Obviously, Kylian Mbappe and... You've just got, I mean, Cavani, they've got an amazing team. And they, sh they technically, they shouldn't ever lose a game in this league. There's only three or four teams that are pretty much good enough to maybe beat them. Um, obviously, yes, Monaco is one of them. <laughs> um, but no, uh, we didn't absolutely smash the league. Uh, four losses, three draws, 31 wins, uh, 96 points. So we only finished six points above second place. Um, we didn't outscore anyone. Uh, on the goal difference, uh, well, we did. We came second in goal difference itself, obviously, PSG. Uh, but yeah, uh, Wastin Ben Yedda is, uh, is a pretty good striker for AS Monaco. Um, even though he came third, he actually broke his foot in this season. Broke his foot and he only played 22 games in the league. So I fully, fully, fully believe that if he never broke his foot and he played the full season, he would have definitely come first on goals. 18 games in 22. Kylian Mbappe played a full 36 league games and he got 23. So yeah, I think we're easily going to be looking at another 10, 28, maybe 30 goals if we we're lucky. Um, average rating, Fabregas came second. Old boy is still doing it. Assists, 21 assists for Fabregas. All right. He's got the mentals, he's got the technicals, he ain't got the physicals, but yeah, you don't need them. When you're that smart, when you're that kind of player, sit in the park, sit in the middle of the park and just just ping. Just ping the balls. I mean, like a Perlo. Everyone remembers Perlo just sitting there, just pinging them left and right. And uh, yeah, he played absolutely amazing. Uh, his position that he played in is most mm, he played uh, quite a few attacking mid roles and the obviously the deep line playmaker role as well. Um, but yeah, everyone played absolutely amazing. Uh, ben Yedder would have played the advanced forward. Uh, looking at the squad now. Yeah, so George, 19 goals. Ben Yedder, 18. Don't forget, this is an all competition. So Ben Yedder got 18 in the league. 
and George got 19 overall. Um, so Martin's got 13 assists. He's been playing well. Fabregas six and 24, 24 assists overall in all competitions is awesome. So yeah, I'm not going to go too far into the uh, AS Monaco side, but the tactic works. I've tried it in France, tried it in Germany. Uh, so you guys, it's up to you now if you want to try it in Belgium, if you want to try it in England, if you want to try it in Spain, Italy, go for it. Uh, so yeah, big thumbs up to uh, Stan for commenting in the video, in my previous video, um, recommending this tactic and recommending we do a video on it. So yeah, like I said, guys, leave a comment. Uh, might be able to do videos on your ideas as well. And yeah, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Subscribe like and uh, i'll see you later bye